a soldier on duty, travel photos, even pictures with family. Photos you might see on social media sites. However, these pictures were used to lure women into a scam that cost them thousands of dollars. Oftentimes the fraudsters will look for uh, photos of men in the military and they'll play on the sympathies of, men, of women that they have for people in the armed forces. Fraudsters steal photos like these and then, pretending to be the people in the pictures, post them on internet dating sites where they troll for women. The typical uh, victim that we've uncovered is a middle-aged divorced woman in the U.S. Uh, they use stolen credit cards to send them flowers and teddy bears and chocolates. Uh, they literally do groom them over months at a time. They, they chat with them hours a day. After gaining their trust, the scheme begins. And at some point down the line, they are told that there's a financial emergency. Um, their credit cards don't work overseas, or there's some kind of business emergency, and they're told to send some money. Many victims send that money, only to learn they've been scammed. Postal inspectors say millions of dollars have been lost in so-called sweetheart schemes across the U.S. The women were typically told to send um, several hundred dollars at a time. That is kind of a convenient amount to send through Western Union or MoneyGram. The money is one part, but the psychological damage is another. There is a lot of trust involved with them thinking that they were in love with a man. Um, they're embarrassed at the amount of money they lost. They don't want their family members to know. They don't want their employers to know. Postal inspectors say women need to be very careful about online relationships. This case really is just another variation of a fraud scam that I've investigated for close to 10 years. Um, criminals are greedy. This is just another method for them to obtain money from vulnerable victims.